Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you today with an article from PJ Media dated August 5th. It's students sue squad members for encouraging Columbia unrest. And it is kind of one of those things where I'm like, hopefully these squad folks find some comeuppance in the things they say or do. And, uh, you know, it, Corey Bush just lost her uh, primary, so good to get her out of office. Ilhan Omar is supposed to be coming up on the 13th. Uh, this video is probably going to premiere after that so hopefully at the time you're listening to this she is no no longer has a job in congress and then it's just down to aoc and i know she won her primary so it could be a little bit before we can get rid of her but hopefully she is next and rashida Tlaib too says one of the terrific perks of being a member of the left is that you get to enjoy immunity from the things you say and do you can count on the media and your fellow travelers to justify your words and actions minimize their impact or even make them disappear on command this is particularly true if you happen to be a high-ranking member of the progressive movement, especially an elected one. So but Ilhan Omar, Jamal Bowman, and the ever-effervescent AOC are facing a class-action lawsuit by a group of anonymous Columbia students for stoking the fires of anti-Semitism at the school earlier this year. According to a report in the New York Post, in addition to the three members of the squad, the five students have included several groups in the suit, such as Israel in our lifetime. And I don't know anything about that group, but uh, it sounds like not good if they're being sued. It says the suit states in part, the Gaza encampment was extreme and outrageous conduct. It was illegal. It violated university rules. Its occupants harassed, followed, physically blocked, intimidated, and bullied Jewish students. It also reads, the Gaza encampment was extreme and outrageous conduct. Okay, it's... Well, I'll say it didn't say it also reads, you guys. It's right here. Why did you just do the same thing again? Anyway, it says, it also states that those in the encampment and their supporters not only consciously disregarded the rights of others, but the impact on the rights of others was the point of the protest. The more disruption they could cause for the university and the students, the more leverage they thought they would have for their agenda. The squad members are accused of encouraging and inciting the protests and being outside champions. During the chaos at Columbia, AOC posted this. says, if any kid is hurt tonight, responsibility will fall on the mayor and university presidents. How about, no, how about it falls on the bad people doing bad things, not other people. Okay. It says, other leaders in schools have found a safe, de-escalatory path. This is the opposite of leadership and endangers public safety, a nightmare in the making. I urge the mayor to reverse course, and I urge AOC to shut the hell up because you're a dumbass. It says, two of the students who filed the suit are Jewish, and all have chosen to remain anonymous out of concern for their safety. That's probably a pretty good idea, considering what we've seen already. It says, they each have harrowing tales of abuse and threats they faced on the Columbia campus. One student said he was told to keep walking Zionist and was followed by protesters who continued to scream at him. And before I go to the quote here, calling someone a Zionist, I said this in many other videos, it's not an insult. Okay, it'd be like someone calling me, you, you American patriot, I'd be like, yeah, like, okay, <laughs> like, Zionist is not an insult, so keep trying to use it as one, it's not going to work. So back to the article, it says, another student said, in one instance, I was walking with my non-Jewish friends when I was singled up because I was wearing my yarmulke. A leader of the pro-Palestinian protest approached our group and confronted me. He singled me out, yelling that I needed to move, and when I refused, he began to shove me out of the way. Yes, so this is completely anti-Semitic. Um, so another said he had to endure a slew of anti-Semitic propaganda and posters. As while it is true that the students at the Columbia encampment behaved like entitled feral animals, which we saw in numerous videos, a constellation of people who either wanted to look the other way or agreed with their screeds, tacitly or otherwise unable to encourage them, that includes three members of Congress. The suit may take some time to wend its way through the courts and may even be largely quixotic. Ke oh God, quixote, quixotic. Is that how it's pronounced? Quixotic? Okay. But Ocasio Cortez, Bro Bowman, and Ilhan Omar cannot be allowed to fan the flames of violence and walk away without being accountable for their rhetoric. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for free speech, even if things that disagree with me, but once you border, like, into um, threatening language, like, once your free speech rights start infringing on, like, you know, my safety, yeah, that's not free speech anymore. So, sorry, people in the squad, you should be sued for this, and uh, I don't have a problem with it. So, what do you guys think about this? Do you, are you okay with the squad being sued? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.